Well, I taped a, a friend of mine doing a seminar entitled The Art of Parenting Connected Kids. So I had to do an opening for this. And if you didn't have much time, you would just go get a title and type The Art of Parenting Connected Kids and find a nice font. And then you could maybe get a colored background and have this fade up and back down. But I wanted to do something a little more involved and interesting. So I thought, well, this is about kids. Maybe we could find some shots of families or kids and we could make stills of them. And in this project, we'll just be working with stills. So we could find three of these and we could have the first one come up here and the second one and the third so they would come up and fill the screen. And at that point, we could have it go to an emboss Say over five seconds, we'll have this go to a full emboss. We'll change effects over time. And that is sort of a gray color. So we could also put a tint on this and have it slowly turn blue. Then at that point, we could do a title. Or let's do two titles. The first one can be The Art of Parenting. And our second title could be Connected Kids, which would be below that. So we'll have the first one come up, and then the second title, and then we'll have it all fade out together. This might work, it might not, but let's give it a try. And look in here, we want to export this as a frame and make a still image. But at the same time, we could work on the look of this shot a little bit, so it's a little washed out. We could use some color. Let's put hue and saturation on here. So in our video effects, color balance, HLS, hue, lightness, saturation. Let's take the saturation up. See, get a little more color in there. If we take the lightness, the brightness down, that brings out the color a little bit. And if we take the hue to the left, add a little red to it. So that looks better. Now we're going to export as a frame. It will export the frame right where that edit line is sitting. Now that will be in our project window. There it is. Let's drag that down. We, now we can stretch this out five, ten seconds, whatever we want. Well, I've gone ahead, done the same thing to all three clips. I moved this one over. I thought this will be good for our, our first shot. And here's our second one. This will be our third shot. Now we're going to want to crop these, clip them a little bit, and at the same time, we're going to want to put motion on them. So let's, let's do both of these things at the same time. Let's go to Effects and down and Transform. We have Clip and Crop. Well, let's try the Clip Filter. We drag this on here and go to the Controls. Well, we can twirl down, but we're not going to use this over on the right something called setup. When you see this, go right to setup. This is a quick way to do it. I'm just going to pull in on the left and the right, and this should work. You can select a fill color in this filter. So we can do motion at the same time. Let's, let's go ahead and work with that. We'll want this coming up in the middle and moving to one side. And now we want to get the timeline view out here a bit, so, and go to the beginning of the clip. Then we'll Toggle the animation. Toggle the animation for position and scale. We don't need rotation here. So we'll grab a corner and let's take it way down. We won't take it all the way down. We'll, we'll fade in on this so it won't just pop on. And now let's take it over maybe three seconds or so. As soon as we change the scale, we get keyframes there, change the position. So we'll set it over here on the left. Now I've done the same thing on all three clips. So our second clip will come up toward the top and the third one underneath it. Okay, now when one clip reaches full size, we'll want the next one coming up. So let's put these clips on top of each other and see how this works. When you drop the cross-dissolve transition at the beginning or end of any clip, it works just like a fade. So we'll drop these on the clips, and I just have the one second duration. Maybe we'll want it a little longer. I'll stretch it out there, and now we can see it fading up. And here comes the second one. At this point, we could pull out all three of these stills for 10 seconds or so, 
and then place our titles on a fourth and fifth track. But to keep it from getting so busy, let's do this. We'll make one more frame from all three of these, since nothing changes. Even them out here on the right, and then set the edit line anywhere toward the end. Go up to File, Export a Frame. We'll call this Frame All. And now it'll be over here in our project window. Drag it down to any track track one and we can stretch this out for 10 seconds. Now we want to get the emboss filter. Here it is under stylize. That's what it'll look like. That's not bad. But remember we want this to change over time. We want to start with no effect on it. So let's take the edit line to the beginning of that clip. Go to emboss. And what do we have here for different parameters? blend with up at the top direction we don't need that we have relief and contrast and blend with we'll click toggle animation on all of these we can use the hot text tool to drag that over to 100 percent to get the slider and quickly we'll get over there okay now it's not blending at all with it at the beginning and let's let this run on for five or six seconds pick a spot right in here now Get that slider and take it all the way back down. We can also play with uh, the contrast at this point. Get another keyframe as soon as we change the setting on it. And relief. Uh, that's a little too much. Take it down. We'll turn the uh, animation on for tint. So as the edit line moves across here, it's going to emboss and changing to blue. Rather than having the blue come on full at the same time as emboss, maybe we want that to continue a little longer. And that's what's nice about working here with the, the keyframes in this timeline view. We can, we can pull any of these over, adjust them separately. Well, all that's left to do now is make our title. So we'll go to new title. Thank goodness nothing's really changed here with the title designer. Now, if we don't want that video on there, we can uncheck the box of show video. Click in here with our text tool, and I'm going to type the challenge of parenting. Now we have the titles in our project window. We'll drag the first one down here. That looks pretty good. Let's stretch it out for a few seconds. And then let's go get the second one. And we'll have that come up a couple seconds later. We'll pull out the end so they can fade out together. Now we'll want them to fade out and fade up. So we'll place our cross dissolves on the head and tails of all these clips, and that should just about do it. I'll get a music clip and stick that down on an audio track. Let's go ahead and take a look at this clip now. <laughs> 